Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Dad Jokes, the Priceless Edition by Kit and Andrew Chilvers. So this was a gift to me from my girlfriend, Shay. Shout out to Shay, who gave this to me for our three-month anniversary, because she knows that I do love a good dad, dad joke. So this one's going to be a little bit different. I'll read you the little bit of blurb, um, and then I've just tabbed out the jokes I found the funniest. So it's going to be basically be me telling you jokes with a rating at the end. So with that in mind... Dane reads... The best-selling At Dad Says Jokes is back with an all-new collection of totally priceless jokes, guaranteed to leave you laughing and groaning in equal measure. Uh, and then the example joke on the back. What do cars spread on their toast? Traffic jam. So let's get to some jokes. My girlfriend says I'm way too condescending. That means I speak down to people. Our local auctioneer has passed away. He was somewhere around 30, 35, 35, 40. My wife left me because I couldn't stop doing impressions of pasta, and now I'm kind of lonely. Tomorrow my son and I are getting new glasses, and after that, we'll see. I've just finished reading a great book about an immortal cat. It was impossible to put down. My wife said to me, you really have no sense of direction, do you? Whoa, I said, where did that come from? Vin Diesel eats two meals a day, breakfast and Breck Furious. What's the difference between a literalist and a kleptomaniac? A literalist takes things literally. A kleptomaniac takes things literally. Interviewer, how do you explain this four year gap on your resume? Me, oh, that's when I went to Yale. Interviewer, that's impressive, you're hired. Me, thanks, I really need this job. Why are the Great Pyramids in Egypt? Because they were too heavy to carry off to the British Museum. I went to McDonald's and ordered two large fries and they gave me about 75 tiny ones instead. I quite like this one actually. Did you hear about the pole vault champion of North Korea? He's now the pole vault champion of South Korea. Very nice. A B flat, an E flat and a G flat walk into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, I don't serve minors. That one's for the musicians. Genie, okay, I'm gonna grant you one wish. What do you wish for? Me, I wish I could be you. Genie, word wish, but you grant it. I've replaced the I's with the U's, very nice. I met Tom Hanks once, he was so rude. I asked for his autograph and all he wrote was thanks. A photon checks into a hotel. Do you have any luggage? The receptionist had asked. No, says the photon, I'm travelling light. What's a forklift? Food, usually. I told my cat that I'm going to teach him to speak English. He looked at me and said, me? How? Jokes about sugar are rare. Jokes about brown sugar, them are rarer. I asked my partner when his birthday was. He said March 1st, so I walked around the room and asked again. What's a thousand times better than Instagram? Instakilogram. My girlfriend treats me like a god. She ignores my existence and only talks to me when she needs something. I recently came into a lot of money, and that's why I got fired from the bank. Why don't pirates like travelling on mountain roads? Scurvy. My wife threatened to leave me if I didn't stop making Star Wars puns. I guess divorce is strong with this one. At the weekend I like to play chess with elderly men in the park, but it's becoming increasingly gif difficult to find exactly 32 of them. What's worse than raining cats and dogs? Hailing taxis. Me, hi, can I borrow Batman forever? Video store manager. No, you'll have to bring it back tomorrow. I'm having a hell of a time getting this yoga instructor to leave my house. Every time I ask her to leave, she just says, Namaste. I asked my German friend if he knew the square root of 81. He said, Nine. What are the two steps to marrying a country girl? First, a tractor. Next, fertilizer. I slept like a baby last night. I woke up every two hours and cried. So yeah, Dad Jokes The Priceless Edition by Kit and Andrew Chilvers. A lot of fun. I mean, it is just a bit of a throwaway gimmicky book, but that's what you expect with something like this. I still gave it a 3.5 out of 5 for what it was. Thank you to Shay for giving this to me. I appreciate it. So there we have it. That's what I made of Dad Jokes The Priceless Edition by Kit and Andrew Chilvers. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.